welcome back to Front Row Review. We're doing our horror movie, horror month, all this October 2012. And this is our first trailer talk for October. And it's actually a movie that, surprisingly, I'm really looking forward to. Or at least I was looking forward to seeing the trailer for it anyway. That's always a plus. I kind of want to see what they did with this. So let's watch the trailer for Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. The beast in me. So do you know anything about this place? Just the address. It's caged by frail and fragile bars. Wow. Restless by day and by night. Rants and rages. Look like Granny likes to play a little pool. What exactly did Granny do for a living? I have no idea. I just learned about her yesterday. The beast in me. All right, Vince, there we have it. Chainsaw 3D. You knew eventually it was going to have to come to 3D because they've done every possible incarnation of Leatherface and Chainsaw that they could possibly do. Well, I've been a fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre for a long time, I would say. Uh, um, I can't say that Leatherface has always been one of my absolute favorites, like Freddy or Jason, but... I do like to go back and watch him take on his uh, his little adventure. Yeah, his adventure of, you know, killing people with chainsaws. Thing, the thing about the chainsaw movies is they pretty much are the same movie, just done again. After more than a decade of silence, he has come out of hiding. Chainsaw Massacre 2, The Buzz is back. Directed by Toby Hooper. And again. Some tales are told, then soon forgotten. But a legend is forever. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Now, from the producers of A Nightmare on Elm Street. And again. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The next generation. If looks could kill, he wouldn't need a chainsaw. And again. Who's 
killing who? What's wrong with you people? Oh, my, 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 my. And again. People may not know what we say here tonight. My God, they'll remember what we did. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on, Vince. It's kind of like people who go out to a cabin in the woods and have a mass killer kill them and when they're having sex. And then a whole new group of people goes out to a cabin in, in the woods and, and they have sex and this kind of crazy killer comes and kills them because they're having sex and then another group of people go out to his cabin and have sex and it's crazy is that what you're talking about something like that but in this case they, they're not they don't even get to the sex part i mean they just get to the the place and then they just get killed they get chased by a chainsaw Sound like a buzzsaw buzzsaw well i think chainsaw I mean, it's unfair to say Chainsaw is exactly the same every movie because pretty much all the horror uh, franchises are exactly the same with different actors. I mean, it's, if you took all the Friday the Thirteenth and all the Saw films and all the you know Halloween films, it's basically the same thing with different actors. So it's just, I guess, to see a new story based around the same concepts every time. I don't know. Yeah, well, the, the the remakes of Texas Chainsaw Massacre that have come out here in the last decade, um, I have to say that they, they did step them up, you know, and they did make them a lot more gritty, a lot more dirty, a lot more creepy that way uh, than they did. But the original, the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Toby Hooper. I mean, that was brutal. I say nobody's really ever topped that first film. Even Toby Hooper himself, who tried to make the second film, which was crazy goofy. Rubber Man. Uh, rubber Man, I like him. This one, it looks like they're actually trying to change up the story, at least a little bit anyway. It looks like they're moving into either one of their grandmother's houses or something that maybe... Her grandmother was part of the Chainsaw Clan. That's what it looks like, you know. And maybe she died or something, and they're moving into this house. But that doesn't really explain why Leatherface and all the other people are there. And one thing I can say, I, I kind of liked it. It didn't really show Leatherface. They show him sitting there, you know, sewing his mask, and he has like this big bushy beard. I think also putting the 3D in it, you know, that's gonna that's definitely gonna be different. And I hope that they actually did it you know, with 3D in mind instead of converting it to 3D. Why is this coming out in January? I don't think January is a very terrifying month. I mean, uh, maybe if more people watch these reviews, they would say, you know, we got to bring this out in October because Vince and Dave need to review it. All right, so let's bring up our anticipation, tissometer patient thing that we have. Tissometer. Exactly. Uh I'll go see it. Because that's what I do. Exactly. <laughs> I, I feel the same, Dave. I'll, I'll go see it. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> what else do you need? Ow, 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 Mess me up. 